Hello everybody, what is going on? It is your boy C4 here, and I'm here with another Madden 15 projected player overall rating video. Uh, as always, you smashed the 15 likes on the last video, so today we're bringing you the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, you know, make sure you get the 15 likes on this video so I can move on from a team more appealing than the Jaguars, but I won't move on until I get at least that 15. Um, as always, leave a comment in the comment section below if you think any player should be upgraded and or downgraded. And without further ado, jumping into the Jacksonville Jaguars, the quarterback we gave obviously to Blake, uh, Blake Bortles, the 76 overall. Uh, you know, high the, their their first overall pick or the first pick in the draft. You have to give the benefit of the doubt that he will pan out. Uh, seems like Chad Henney is going to start this year, uh, which I mean I don't think he did enough to get the automatic starting job. Uh, you know, Co uh, Gus Bradley says that he wants Blake Bortles to really develop his first year, but Chad Henney, 13 touchdowns, 14 interceptions last year. I mean that's just that's not good enough to declare outright that he's going to start over uh, over um, Blake Bortles. I think it's going to be open quarterback competition. I would not be surprised if uh, Gus Bradley kind of goes back on his word and Blake Bortles ends up being the starter. Uh, now at running back, Toby Gerhardt. This guy, absolute steal. You know he's a big fan of coming out of Stanford. He should have won the Heisman. He got absolutely robbed. That was probably the most unfair Heisman voting I've ever seen. Uh, I believe Mark Ingram won it. Toby Gerhardt deserved it. Uh, was an absolute workhorse back for Stanford. Then kind of got stuck in behind AP in Minnesota. Toby Gerrard is going to be, he will be a thousand, he will have a Peyton Hillis type season, not just because he's a white running back, but uh, the things that he does is very similar to the way Peyton Hillis would play. Going to be a sleeper, I'm telling you right now. For fantasy football fans, get Toby Gerrard. He's going to be very, very good. I love that pickup. Uh, now, wide out, Cecil Shorts gave him the 84 overall. He was pretty much their top wide receiver last year uh, because Justin Blackman couldn't stay. Uh, you know, suspend, unsuspended. Uh, Cecil Storch finished the year with 66 receptions, 777 yards, and three overall touchdowns. So 84 might be a little bit high, but still, uh, you know, very underrated wide receiver. Gave Justin Blackman an 83 because when he is on the field, he is very deadly. Only played four games, 400 yards, so that's 100 yards a game. Uh, you know, I think that it's a shame that he can't get his shit together because he is a very, very good wide receiver. Uh, we gave Mark. They have rookie Marquise Lee, 76. Rookie Allen Robinson, 72. Uh, didn't they get someone else? Whatever. There you go. Those are those rankings. Tight end Mercedes Lewis. We gave him an 84. Uh, I think he's a little slightly overrated, but in 10 games last year, he had 350 receiving yards, four touchdowns. Um, I think that he's purely almost a, re a receiving tight end. He's not very effective in the run game, uh, even at that massive size at 6'6", 275. He's more important as a red zone threat. Um, but 84 is still no slouch for Mercedes Lewis. They got Luke Jokel, former first round pick, 79. Uh, Zane Beals coming over from the Denver Broncos, 82. That's a good pick up there. Uh, definitely need some work on the center position. Uh, right guard's looking a little weak. Right tackle, got Sam Young. Again, probably need to buff that offensive lineup a little bit. Now at left end, they got uh, Red Bryant coming down from uh, Seattle Seahawks, former. You know, work with Red, Gus, head coach Gus Bradley up in Seattle. Uh, great pick up there. Good experience. Got some playoff experience under his belt. Uh, maybe Tyson Aluau can Alu Alu, whatever the fuck your name. I remember you're a first round pick and you're bust, so maybe he can learn a thing or two. They also got Ziggy Hood too from uh, the Seattle, uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. Great pick up. That's a great defensive line. Chris Clemens too, another Seattle guy coming down to Gus Bradley's system. Fuck Jason Bavin. Uh, Cendric Marks got an 80 overall. Uh, let's see, what did he do last year exactly? Uh, four, sa uh, four sacks from the defensive tackle position, so obviously 80 over there. Eh, yeah, maybe a little bit high, but we're being generous because this is the Jags. Uh, left outside linebacker, they got Dakota Watson from, I believe, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, middle linebacker, Paul Pozlesny. This guy's an absolute animal. Three sacks, two interceptions, 160 tackles last year. Uh, you know, consistently the Jaguars' best player. Uh, excellent, excellent player. Right outside linebacker, Geno Hayes. Uh, Telvin Smith, the rookie, might actually be able to push that out of Florida State. Gave him a 72. Geno Hayes, 75. Now at the corner position, probably the weakest spot on their defense, I would say. Uh, you got Allen Ball, 78 overall, 6'2". Got that ideal size. Obviously, Gus Bradley's trying to install uh, you know, the Richard Sherman. That is a Richard Sherman guy. Uh, he had two interceptions last year, just uh, under 50 tackles. But other than that, you also got Will Blackman, too. I believe he came from Seattle as well. Um, you know, definitely can definitely work on their secondary, though, if I could say so myself. Free safety, Sherrod Martin. Uh, let's see. 
He didn't do much last year, so 74 is just a general, you're not crap. But Jonathan Cyprian out of uh, FIU had a good rookie season last year. One sack, one interception, but just over 100 tackles. So that was great experience for him. Got good size of 6 feet, 217 pounds. Uh, expect him to take you know the next step this upcoming season. 77 is a very fair overall for him. Josh Scooby, 89 overall for the kicker. And Brian Anger, 77 overall for the punter. Might need to actually boost, boost that. Anger is a great punter. But there you have it. Those are your Jacksonville Jaguars projected Madden 15 stats. So as always, uh, once this hit 15 likes, we will upload the next video. Leave a comment in the comment section below if you think anyone should be upgraded or downgraded. Subscribe to Beast Mode TV. And until next time, guys, it is your boy C4 saying peace out.